From missing a game to getting married, the bizarre reasons actors turn down iconic roles. Welcome back to Science Deli. Today, we are diving into the strange and surprising reasons why some of Hollywood's biggest stars turned down roles in what would become blockbuster films. From skipping out on James Bond to avoid ruining a marriage, to passing on Batman because of some questionable wardrobe choices. These stories are as unbelievable as they are entertaining. Let us explore the wild world of missed opportunities and the decisions that shaped cinema history. Liam Neeson, Love Over Bond Imagine turning down the iconic role of James Bond, one of the most coveted characters in film history. For Liam Neeson, the decision came down to love. Back in the mid-90s, Neeson was in the running to play 007 in GoldenEye, 1995. But there was a catch. His fiance at the time, Natasha Richardson, laid down an ultimatum. She told Neeson that if he accepted the role of James Bond, she would not marry him. Faced with the choice between a legendary film role and the love of his life, Neeson chose love. And while Pierce Brosnan took over as the suave spy, Neeson went on to marry Richardson, proving that sometimes, real-life romance trumps on-screen fame. Henry Winkler, The Regret of a Lifetime Henry Winkler, known to millions as The Fonz, from Happy Days, was offered the lead role in the 1978 musical classic Grease. The character of Danny Zuko would eventually catapult John Travolta to superstardom. But at the time, Winkler was worried about being typecast. He felt the character was too similar to his role as Fonzie. In hindsight, Winkler regrets the decision, admitting in an interview that he was a damn fool for passing up the opportunity. Instead of enjoying the ride on the wave of 50s nostalgia, Winkler stayed in his lane, and Travolta soared into the stratosphere. Tom Cruise, Overthinking Edward Scissorhands Tom Cruise was almost Edward Scissorhands in Tim Burton's 1990 cult classic. However, Cruise's approach to the character was far too practical for Burton's whimsical world. Cruise reportedly asked detailed questions like, how does Edward go to the bathroom? And how did he survive all those years without eating? These were questions that the creators felt did not need answers. Part of the character's charm was in the mystery. Cruz's need for logical explanations led him to pass on the role, which then went to Johnny Depp, who embraced Edward's quirks and became an icon in the process. Sean Connery, Lost in Middle Earth Sir Sean Connery, a legend in his own right, turned down the role of Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The reason? He simply did not understand the script. Connery admitted that he read J.R.R. Tolkien's book, the screenplay, and even watched the movie, but still could not grasp the story. This confusion led him to decline the part, which was then famously played by Sir Ian McKellen. Despite missing out on a role that would have earned him a share in one of the most successful film franchises of all time, Connery remained content with his decision, even if the fans might not be. Al Pacino, Star Wars was not his galaxy. Believe it or not, Al Pacino could have been Han Solo. George Lucas originally offered the role to Pacino in Star Wars, Episode 4 A New Hope, 1977, but Pacino turned it down because he did not understand the script. The actor later joked that the galaxy far, far away was, mine for the taking, but he just could not wrap his head around the story. Harrison Ford eventually took the role, making Han Solo one of the most beloved characters in cinema history. Pacino, meanwhile, continued to dominate with roles that were more grounded, at least by Star Wars standards. Pierce Brosnan, Batman's Wardrobe Malfunction Before donning the tuxedo as James Bond, Pierce Brosnan had the chance to play another iconic character, Batman. Tim Burton's 1989 Batman could have starred Brosnan as the caped crusader, but Brosnan could not take the character seriously. His hang-up? Batman's costume. Brosnan found the idea of a superhero wearing his underpants outside his pants laughable, and turned down the role. Michael Keaton eventually stepped into the Batsuit, proving that sometimes it is okay to embrace the absurd. Ewan McGregor, passing on Patrick Bateman. Christian Bale was so determined to play Patrick Bateman in American Psycho, 2000, that he personally asked Ewan McGregor to step aside. McGregor, who was initially considered for the role, respected Bale's passion and decided to pass. Bale's portrayal of the charming yet psychotic Bateman became iconic, and McGregor's decision to turn down the role allowed Bale to showcase his intense commitment to the character. 
Lawrence Fishburne, not a fan of Pulp Fiction's drug scene. Quentin Tarantino originally wanted Lawrence Fishburne to play Jules Winfield in Pulp Fiction, 1994. However, Fishburne had reservations about the way heroin use was depicted in the film. He felt that the movie glamorized drug use and was uncomfortable with how casually it was presented. As a result, Fishburne turned down the role, which was then taken by Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson's performance as Jules became one of the most memorable in film history, complete with iconic lines that are still quoted today. Anne Hathaway, birth scene too real for Knocked Up. Anne Hathaway was set to star in Knocked Up, 2007, but she had reservations about the film's explicit birth scene. Having never experienced motherhood herself, Hathaway felt uncertain about how she would feel on the other side of childbirth and decided to step away from the project. The role went to Katherine Heigl, and Knocked Up became a huge success. Hathaway later expressed that she might have made a different decision after experiencing motherhood, but at the time, it was just too much for her to take on. Evangeline Lilly, not a fan of superheroes. Evangeline Lilly had not one, but two chances to become a superhero, and she turned them both down. Hugh Jackman personally asked her to join the X-Men franchise, and Joss Whedon wanted her to star in a Wonder Woman film. But Lilly just was not interested. Despite the awkwardness of turning down such huge opportunities, Lilly remained true to herself, admitting that if something did not appeal to her, she simply could not pretend it did. Jason Momoa, no more shirtless roles. Jason Momoa could have played Drax the Destroyer in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, but he turned it down because he did not want to take his shirt off again. After playing similar characters who were often shirtless and spoke little, Momoa wanted to challenge himself with different roles. The part went to Dave Bautista, whose deadpan delivery and physical presence made Drax a fan-favorite character. Steve McQueen, no tears for Spielberg. Steve McQueen was offered the role of Roy Neary in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, but there was one problem, he could not cry on cue. Director Steven Spielberg needed an actor who could shed tears on demand, and McQueen admitted that was not in his wheelhouse. Richard Dreyfuss ultimately took the role, delivering the emotional performance Spielberg needed. Charlize Theron, too young to play Wonder Woman's mom. Charlize Theron turned down the role of Hippolyta, Wonder Woman's mother, in Wonder Woman, 2017, because she felt she was too young for the part. When the role was offered, Theron was surprised to learn that she was being considered to play the mother of the protagonist. The role eventually went to Connie Nielsen, who is 10 years older than Theron. Jack Nicholson, Lakers over Hollywood. Jack Nicholson turned down the lead role in The Mosquito Coast, 1986, for a reason that only a true Lakers fan would understand. The role required Nicholson to travel to Belize for several months, which would mean missing a significant portion of the Lakers' basketball season. Nicholson chose courtside seats over the film role, and Harrison Ford took on the character instead. Jet Li, protecting his moves from Hollywood. Jet Li was offered the role of Seraph in the Matrix sequels, but he turned it down because he did not want Hollywood to digitally capture his martial arts moves and use them forever. Lee was concerned that his moves would be recorded and owned as intellectual property, which would limit his ability to grow as a martial artist. The role went to Colin Cho, who brought his own style to the character. Mark Wahlberg, the many roles he let slip away. Mark Wahlberg has turned down several big roles, all for rather unusual reasons. He passed on Brokeback Mountain, 2005, because he was uncomfortable with the intimate scenes. He also turned down the role of Donnie in Donnie Darko, 2001, because he wanted the character to have a lisp, a creative choice the director was not on board with. Each of these decisions left Wahlberg wondering what might have been, but he has managed to carve out a successful career nonetheless. Gail Sondergaard, Beauty Over the Wicked Witch Gail Sondergaard was originally offered the role of the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz, 1939 but she turned it down because she thought the character would be more attractive. When she realized that the role would require her to look ugly, Sondergaard passed. Margaret Hamilton stepped in, and her portrayal of the Wicked Witch became one of the most iconic performances in film history. And there you have it, some of the most bizarre reasons actors turned down what could have been career-defining roles. From skipping out on James Bond for love, to missing out on the Lakers season, 
These stories remind us that even the biggest stars are guided by personal choices that go beyond fame and fortune. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Hollywood's what ifs, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more captivating content from Science Deli. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of entertainment.